left it in for Gao. He'll get it to White. Plays it around the boards for Owen Dean. He'll get it back to Brisson. He's got Sullivan. Sullivan walks in. There's a shot. Scores! Ryan Sullivan. Boy, you give him that many opportunities from that shot area, and he's going to score, and he gets another one. Might have been tipped. We'll wait and see if Callum Gow got a stick on it, but either way, Emmanuel Kodiak's up 1-0. Yeah. He'll get it across to Roosevelt. He'll dump it in for Sanders. Sanders goes in around behind the net. Centered it. Shot scores. Dylan Biddick will get it. It will not be a power play goal. It'll come just after the power play ended, but good patience by Kale Sanders to keep that puck on his stick all the way around behind the net. Found Biddick in front of the net. He scores. Yeah, he's and it's one one. Oh, so the shot that's blocked by Chapel off oh, Stanky. He's got the puck again. Now back to the point. Now Biddick in for Stanky. Centering pass. They score. And it will be a power play goal, I believe, for Matt Corbet. Yep. Stanky dumped it in front. Corbet was able to get a stick on it. And the Canucks have taken the lead here 2-1. to one. Matt Corbet, his eighth goal of the season. But it's intercepted. Canucks able to get a shot. They score. Matt Corbet has got another one. The rebound off the point shot came right back to him. And he was able to put it by Bechtold. And the Canucks now lead this one 3-1. Shot, short side, tipped in front of the net. Borsos has got it. Lansing and Frost do some pushing now in front of the net. Look out, gloves come off. Oh, Frost is throwing some rights. Lansing tried to throw a right, but down, got back up. Then he threw a right and hit Frost. Frost misses with the overhand right, hits with the right. Uppercut, oh, and Lansing knocks him down. That was a pretty good tilt. It was. Uh, bring your warm clothes. It's a bit cooler in that press box, I'm just saying. Yeah, it, it is cooler there. And the Canucks score. Oh, my. It's another power play goal. Bechtold made uh, a couple of saves on that, and he just could not uh, come up with the last one. And it looks like it's uh, Bowden Singleton who banged it home. Second power play goal of the hockey game for the Canucks. Sixth power play. For the Canucks, and uh, man, that is uh, Singleton's first goal, just his second game for the Canucks. And he gets the goal and makes his 4 1 with 12 minutes to go in this third period. Now trying to catch his stick. There's a shot that deflects over top of the net. Back to Singleton, left point. He'll walk in, and that goes in. Off the stick of Chapel and Bowden Singleton will get his second goal of this hockey game. It's another power play goal. Man, this is this has been a rough New Year's Eve for the Kodiaks. It has. I think they're about to go one and one in New Year's Eve games. Bowden Singleton gets his second on the power play. Third power play goal for the Canucks. Penalty killing again. A problem. And it's now 5-1 Canucks. Oh, man. Oh, no. Is there going to be more fight or what? Well, I don't know. Looks like they'll get uh, everybody settled, and that'll do it. The Canucks will win this one by a score of 5-1. to one. And we might see you, Emmanuel, on the fifth if you venture over to uh, Max McLean. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll see, Tim. <laughs> Well, you, just, you be safe tonight and have a good New Year's Eve. Yeah, um, I mean, uh, as long as I don't get to the um, <clears throat> Max McLean Arena. <laughs> You'll be good. Yeah, I, th I think so. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, Happy New Year to you, and we'll, uh, we'll see yeah. you next week.
and happy new year to everyone. You bet. Kodiak loses this one five to one. I'm Beck Holmes Post Game Show coming up next from the Home Time Realty Broadcast Center. This is Wild Rose Co-op Kodiak Saki on New Country. 981.com and